Right now at 5.30, first responders making a deadly discovery inside this Tamarack home today. When those emergency workers arrived on scene, they say there was a strong smell of gas. That's when they went inside the home to find a car that had been left running in the garage, and that's not all they found. Local 10's Carlos Suarez live with more. Carlos. Late this afternoon came word that one of these roommates was aware of the suicide and uh, as well as a note that was left behind detailing on how to notify the family. In fact, we're told it was a loved one that came across the bodies of these two men. The details of what happened it left neighbors in disbelief. Two men and a dog found dead inside of a townhouse and a car engine running inside of a closed garage. You think that uh, something like this would never have happened close to home? The sheriff's office said one of the men committed suicide, but that a note found nearby didn't mention anyone else. The person in the vehicle left a note in the home and uh, it appears that that person was attempting to commit suicide. The second person found in the home, which also lived in the home, appears to have died accidentally as a result of the fumes. Sky 10 HD was over the scene of a townhouse development off Knob Hill Road, north of McNabb in the Kings Point neighborhood. The sheriff's office said the buildup of carbon monoxide was so strong that neighbors were forced out for a part of the morning. I used to see them quite often uh, uh, fixing their lawn and stuff, you know. Are they younger couple, middle-aged couple? Uh, I'd say in their 70s. Late Wednesday, the sheriff's office identified the men as 64-year-old Michael Payson and 72-year-old Thomas Boyle. Neighbors said the pair moved in about a year ago and were roommates. Well, I just pray for their families. This is really, really you know, devastating. All right, detectives have said that Boyle was actually in the process of trying to get a hold of Payson's family to let them know about that suicide when, according to them, it appears uh, that Boyle himself was also overcome by fumes as well as a dog uh, that they uh, lived here at this townhouse with. It is still unclear exactly why Payson wanted to kill himself. We're live in Tamarack this noon. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.